Ryan Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Superman House of Brainiac Special Number One. This is a new comic from DC Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. Now, this book is titled House of Brainiac Part 2.5, really. Uh, it is comprised of three different stories. Uh, so it's really interesting that DC would present something in a fashion like this. Uh, but we have writer Joshua Williamson with art by Edwin Galmon, colors by Jordi Belair, letters by Dave Sharp. We are revealing here the secret history with Lobo, an essential issue in the action comic Superman crossover as Brainiac's secret history with Lobo and Sarnia is revealed. How did Brainiac create a bottled city of Sarnia? Who steps up to protect Metropolis after Brainiac's army leaves in, in ruins and Will Lois confront Perry White about his own secrets as he runs for mayor of Metropolis. Also, how is Amanda Waller involved in all this? All these questions are answered in this crucial issue that connects DC's Superman, Superman-sized event. Uh, we also see Bilbo, Bilbo stepping up in this issue and with the heroes gone from the city and need a champion, our favorite bartender has to organize for the community to be saved in their beloved home. So, yeah, this issue, like I mentioned, is comprised of a few different stories, right? The main story is how did we have all these Zarzians uh, come into the picture? Uh, I think that's something that we've been wondering. Uh, I So I think it's cool that they're doing it in a separate issue because it doesn't take momentum away from the ongoing storyline in the main action comic Superman issue. Now, this is an extra issue that you don't really need to buy. So I wanted to make a video to see, like, explain what the stories are going to be. And that way you can be a little bit more informed about, is this essential reading? Should you buy it? Now, uh, you know, what are, what are we getting here for our buck? So, um, like I mentioned, I think the main story, the the secrets of Zarnia, um, it's really well done. I think it's it explains everything. It goes into detail. It it at points feel a little bit goofy. Um, it also explores the relationship between Lobo and Superman, and how they kind of are different, but also similar as you know the last survivors of the race. Which Superman's not the last one because they've introduced so many other ones. But that's kind of the that was kind of the pitch, right? It's a really interesting parallel, and that is definitely displayed here in the, this spread where we see that their parallel lives are very different, right? Their society was destroyed. Uh, they were they were sent out to escape and survive, uh, and they've gone now into their own dip, different path. So I think that's very cool from, uh, from the team and Joshua Williamson to kind of point out. Now, the second story, I don't really... I'm not really following the Perry White uh, storyline of him being the mayor. Uh, we do see, you know, Bibbo is a really interesting character that I think a lot of people like. So if that's your jam, you probably will like that story. This is an oversized issue. So like the stories have plenty, like you get plenty of story with each of these pages. Uh, and then the last of it, we do have some really cool stuff uh, connecting all the things to uh, the absolute power uh, event that's coming up. Right. So the last story is definitely all about Amanda Waller and how things are going to play out. So overall, I think it's not essential reading, but it's definitely adds a little bit of something, especially that first story and the last story. They really connect to things that are going to happen in the DC world. So I think if you have the room for an extra comic this week, because it is a, it is a low um, it is a low volume week. I think there's not a lot. There's annuals and stuff right before free comic book day. So. Um, let me pull up some of the preview art as well. Uh, this is from the main story. This is really cool stuff, actually. Um, I really like, uh, I think Edwin Galmon just is a fantastic artist. And I really like the way that he displays the story. The character designs are goofy and fun. But yeah, it's. I think it's really well done. So I think it's definitely worth your time. Um, I just love the textures and the feel of this comic book. Uh, and then as we go back in time... Uh, you know, introducing this this scientist from Zarnia and, and, and introducing a whole society there into that place that uh, I feel like sometimes we just think of as this kind of savage land. So uh, we don't know much about Zarnia, so it's really cool to explore that here. Um, but yeah, overall, I quite enjoy this. 
definitely recommend it if you have the room to spare in your pull list for this week. So if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.